okay guys so so better we can start today okay so so far we have seen like uh, uh like how uh, how the how the view path you uh, know user interface is looking like so where we have seen a lot of uh, activities panels and a lot of panels and a lot of ribbons we have seen over there so basically when you talk about view path uh, uh, studio so majorly which we are going to use activities panel so activities panel which is used to design your workflow so where i have hundreds of uh, um, activities are available so so based on the situation based on the requirements so we can use the activities okay. and apart from that we have a project panel so where i can able to create my folder structure okay so i can create utilities folder over there i can create a web services folder i can create so based on your project i can create list of folders over there and so make them connect into the as a workflow and apart yeah, from that can you share your screen yeah able to see my screen right yes sir yes I'm trying to launching UA Path Studio, which is being uh, launched here. So before that, like uh, we all memorize like what happens in you know, a previous session. So I, have, I hope uh, you might have seen UA Path Studio where a lot of uh, I, uh, uh, I mean to say that a lot of uh, windows were there. So one is a properties window. So properties window. This is a properties window. So which is used to which is have some information about activities okay this is let's say example input activity which kind of information about uh, it's slow. yeah here if you could see here which contain different types of information about the activities so anyway we'll, we'll discuss in detail today so before moving to that uh, um, So basically when you're trying to install your uh, machine right so so these are all the set of requirements are required so basically you have says uh, hardware requirements cpu we require 1.4 gigahertz and 32 bit the minimum requirement and uh, which is recommended as dual core 1.8 gigahertz 64 bit even and ram basically if you require so the recommended is the 4 gb is enough so these are the hardware requirements enough to install your UA Pass studio in your local machines and coming to the software requirements so so these are the operating system which is going to be support windows 7 10 and um, windows server 2008 r2 and uh, 2012 r2 and of course 2016 so when we talk about dotnet framework so why we need to dot a framework so this is a mandatory so because they were a developer the user ua path uh, studio by using uh, .NET framework so minimum requirement so we need a version of 4.5.2 the dot .NET. their recommendation is uh, 4.6.1 so these are all these software requirement which is used which is going to be installed ua path studio in your local missions okay so let's move on to the so important topic uh, variables and data types so this is a basic stuff right so when we go for any language like c or c plus plus or java dot net cobol so whatever the language so if we want to kick start so this is the kick this is the entry point so make sure that if i am if your, your work has been assigned to you so make sure that we have to think like so what are the variables are required and what are the data types are required to process my data so before going to discuss about that so can you please anyone tell me what is a variable guys it was right where to store data. so where you can store data. excellent any other 
is like representing some data so representing some data so make sure that right so we like that sorry say it again sorry exactly storing is representing yeah right so we need to store right so because we are working for a business right when working for a business so make sure that we are going to play with the data the different types of data right let's take example you are playing with employee you are playing with the employee management system so what happens where if you want to if you want to write some program on that so my first and foremost step is so declaring variables right so if you want to try to declaring variables so how many variables are required so basically when you talk about employee management system the basic variables are required employee number employee name and salary and coming to like uh, <clears throat> designation so when you talk about em as employee number so employee number where we can store only integer i mean to say that num numeric type of information am i right so coming to employee name where i can store so like you no know, some character to alpha alpha numeric sometimes so alpha alphabetics only we can store over there and coming to the salary so where i can see like a precision value like 4000.25 rupees 25 paise something we can see there of course designation where we are going to store only the character information so if you want to store if you want to play with this type of information i know basically every language has designed its own where i mean own data types okay so <clears throat> when we talk about variables right so variables are used to store multiple types of data so i, I told you right it's like you no know, it's an integer or it may be a <clears throat> it may be a string or it may be a double so so based on this i can i can create the variable and based on the variable based on the requirement i can assign the data type as well so data stored within a variable is called value so normally the first step is we are declaring a variable right so normally if in c or c++ or java or .net the basic stuff is int a so a is nothing but the variable name of type integer so so a equals to 10 if it done a equals to 10 so what will say i am assigning the value into the variable is nothing but the value of the variable okay we pass supports different types of data types so we have a generic we have a string we have a integer we have a data table we have a date and time and so on so we have a data table so data row whatever we have it in c or c++ or java we are storing we are having all type of data types in our ui pass studio so <clears throat> I hope you are uh, very well known about uh, this variable stuff, right? Anyone new new to the cloud? What is a variable and what was what data type? So that I'll discuss in detail if you need. Guys, I know. Guys, I need response from you. Like, sir, yes or no? Yeah, you can continue. No issue. We know. Okay, fine, fine. Thank you. So basically, all our you know .NET developers, you might don't know like uh, so what is the variable, what is the data type, and all. So, so I'm just bit wrapping here. So naming best practices. Okay, when we talk about you know, naming. Uh, when we declare a variable so make sure that we have to follow these are best practices provided by the ui path um, so variable type so whenever declaring generic so generic so we'll discuss in detail all these things okay so variable when declare a generic variable i am going to use gen variable name if i'm declaring text type of variable text is nothing but is a string where i can store alpha numeric values so which is prefixed by str variable name if it is a number variable type so make sure that it is prefixed with integer int is a variable name if it is a true or false of course we have a we might don't know like a well known uh, variable type called boolean so if it is a bool type so make sure that you just declare bool 
a prefix with the pool after that give the variable name of course so tim is a variable name so data table so dat so if, if you are very familiar about the data table so we are going to use we are a lot of places we are going to use the data table um, variable in your path for playing with multiple types of information multiple nano or rows and columns of data so which is a prefix with the dat it's a variable type instead of normally we are using right dt also we are using so better we can use the dat or dt variable name these are the naming uh, uh, no, my naming conventions when we are declaring variables so make sure that you just follow like this so predominantly when we talk about so variable panel so i'll show you variable panels how it is looking like yes <clears throat> so this is my variable panel okay so better view now okay so this is my uh, variable panel if i am not selecting my workspace so this is a workflow designer right as i explained about this workflow designer so where i can design my workflow if i am not selecting workflow designer so by default here i cannot create i cannot create any variable at all if you want to create so make sure that you have to click you have to select some sequence or any activity so that this is going to be enabled for us okay <clears throat> i'm just going to create a new sequence for creating a new sequence this is a how this is how we have to create I click on new sequence or else and let us create one more project for variables start so i'm just clicking blank project here i have given variable variable demo so this is a description about project this is optional if you try to give you can give or else leave it as default one okay so when i click on create so it is going to create the project like this which is has main.xml by default main.xaml file is going to be create when i create a va pass to the project so if you want to create one more file on top of it i'm just creating a sequence i'm just declaring uh, like a uh, generic demo so i just click on so when you create a sequence by default one sequence is going to be create in the workflow designer so i'm just going to talk about this variable panel so by default it is not going to display because i didn't select any activity in the workflow design when i click on this automatically this is going to be enabled so here the basically there are four columns available in the in the variable ribbon the first one is name so this is a mandatory field when i'm creating a variable so make sure that we have to give the variable name or else it is by def or else we're not giving any variable by default it is going to create default one call variable one so make sure that i'm just going to give a variable like a str name so this is a variable type very very important so by default i can see boolean integer string object array of type and browse type if if i'm if i'm fetching for like a double data type but i'm not able to see here then go to browse for types here we, here we can select double we can type double i'm getting some noise i'm just mute all okay okay i'm just coming to the point so here 
system dot double if you select it automatically it is going to be attached in the variable type column here i can see like uh, system dot double is going to be available so this is also mandatory so i'm declaring a variable this is how we have to create the variable and i'm just i have to choose what type of data it is let's take example my variable type is integer sorry string I'm just selecting string scope scope is very very important so i'm just trying to push i'm trying to pull one more sequence which is available in the activity panel so type it sequence so i'm just drag and drop on a generic okay so this is my inner sequence so always give names to the activities so which is used to track your workflow inner sequence okay and uh, so i'm selecting this sequence and i'm creating one more variable str inner so it is also type of so here i'm selecting scope as a sqq inner sequence now i'm going back to the my <clears throat> if you selected outer sequence right i am not able to see that str inner since which is bounds to this sequence so this is called scope of the variable my if you declare one variable that that is where go, that variable is going to be entire my workflow then declare is a declare it as a outer sequence the scope should be a see this is my name of the sequence generic demo is the name of the sequence so here i am selecting so if you want to make this also should be visible to all then and try to change the scope of the variable I mean, scope of the variable to generic demo then wherever you click here i can able to see two variables what happened it is not changed yes so try to change this and uh, see here you also i'm i'm seeing two variables here also i'm seeing two variables so this is how scope is going to be work okay so this is the default one so normally we are declaring a variable and also along with that i am i am assigning some value to default values okay let's say example if we're declaring a pi so default value the pi is 3.142 so like this if you have any default values or if you want to declare any uh, flag values or if you want to declare any counter variables so i can declare the default values here Guys, able to listen my voice? Yeah, hi Mohan. Yeah, like your voice is continuously breaking. Oh. Yeah, we are following you. So, any was no problem, right? I think uh, my voice is audible, right? But your screen is not moving as fast as you are typing. <laughs> okay, okay. Since actually I'm working. Your voice is clear, but your your screen no. Okay, okay. Because here I'm working in VMware. Okay, so bit slow. So any doubts in this panel variable panel? No, right? No doubts okay so we'll discuss about these arguments and imports so when we'll discuss in the next chapter so let us discuss one by one what i'm mohan yeah ramakrishna right mohan this is ramakrishna yeah please tell me ramakrishna oh yes how we select the generic type as a variable type yeah that uh, that will will discuss now okay hello that will discuss now Okay. Yeah. Yeah. First one. So generic, generic value variables. So big, uh, we have one um, generic type in UiPath Studio, so which can be stored any type of data, which may be a text, it may be numbers, it may be data and arrays, whatever it is. 
so generic values are uh, uh, generic values are basically automatically converted into their own types like if i'm declaring one generic type of integer right so automatically what will happen if you declare a 10 so if we, if we assign a value to the 10 to that generic variable by default internally convert which will be acting like integer suppose if you're declaring a generic variable and you have been assigned some value with some string or some double i mean some precision values which is internally converted into a string or double or whatever it is so this is the one uh, um, which is providing by ui pass studio so let us see demo on that i'm just deleting the existing one I'm just pushing one sequence. I'm just pulling one sequence. Okay. Here. I'm declaring one variable called gen. Hi Mohan, your screen is not moving. Now we're able to see. And yeah, now it came. Okay, okay. Now when we type here generic right, so generic value. So I'm declaring value here. okay so so this is the how we have to declare a generic variable here i have assigned hello i want to display this value yesterday i have discussed about like displaying we have a three activities the one is um right line message box and log message so i'm trying to pull right line So before that, before that we have one more activity, universal activity called assign. So we are always using this for our assigning values, some a equals to 10 or b equals to 10. So I'm going to use this. So here gen value, gen value plus I'm going to I task now I am displaying gen see here gen value doesn't require to convert because since which will be considered as string here I'm just running so we can see the output in the output panel so variable name execution started and this is a default value hello and uh, the task i'm just appended on the fly and uh, variable name variable demo execution ended so this is how we have to declare the generic variable now we got ramakrishna Ram Krishna, you with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on clear. Clear. Thank you. Now I am moving to the string. If I want to declare only string type of information, right? 
so then we can go to the string a string variable is a type of variable that can store only string type of information so normally when we declare a string which can accommodate all for numeric value so where we can store the names and the password related information so when i'm declaring some value within the uh, string variable so make sure that so we have to give or we have to enclose within the quotes let's see the one small demo i'm just going to create one more sequence with the string demo i'm just clicking on so how to create a variable so by default the select an activity to so set an variable scope so i'm selecting so when you're trying to create create a string so prefix with str name so string so i just you can create you can uh, you can give the default value or you can assign it on the fly so for assigning activity so we have assigning so str name equals to okay so whatever the function string manipulation function we have right yes get substring okay so whatever the functions in the string so all the functions are available in the ui path as well so i want to get substring of the string name how i am going to get it i am going to display in the right line so right line dot substring of so starting index 0 comma 2 So what is the output for this? Can anyone guess? I'm simply running. RA. Yes. So output is RA. Very good. Starting and from starting, how many characters I want to print? So zeroth location, I'm just printing to. So whatever the stream manipulation function, string dot trim, okay, substring. So we have different types of uh, string dot join. We have a lot of in so all the methods are going to support here since we have developer this one with our dot net framework. So this is how the string the variable is going to be declared. Okay. So next important uh, is a boolean. So normally, you know, like a boolean is, you uh, know, we are using uh, for validating whether this, you uh, know, this condition is true or false. Okay. Where we are checking boolean type of variables. So, so which return either true or false. So actually the boolean variable which contain two possible values, either of true or false. So normally this is going to be used when we are designing, whenever we make any decision from the workflow so we are going to use a boolean variable okay now let's flip to the uipa studio and see one small demo on it so just create a sequence boolean demo so instead right instead let's create let us create a flow chart for better understandability I'm just deleting this. Yes. Create flow chart. So Boolean demo. So when I created this, the first time I think, I think we have already created flow chart, right? So when I create a flow chart, it is coming with one start point. So here I am going to before that let us declare one boolean variable so how to declare a boolean variable 
So bull. is valid so this is type is boolean so by default give some value is true okay so by default is created just delete it now I just checking whether the bool okay your spelling mistake fine for validating for we have a decision activity so so when we drag and drop the decision which having two roots the one is the true path and the second is false path so go to the properties here the condition so we can write the condition here is valid equals to And if it is a true, here the flowchart is the collection of sequences with the decisions. Okay, I'm just going to pull up one sequence. This is true. I'm going to one more sequence for handling false. Okay. Now just connect with this like this and connect to false. fine and so still it is I'm just going inside I am displaying one right line in the double quotes valid and come back to the so this is called true sequence so always sequence prefix with uh, suq so valid suq not valid so go back inside so we have done with the valid one so go back to the not valid sequence just pull an activity called right line I'm just going to display invalid. Done. I'm done with this flowchart. But still it is showing error. So make sure that my flowchart doesn't have any start node. So because there is no link between your start node to your uh, middle node. So make sure that so this is my start node set as start node. So this is how the flowchart will be looking like this. Fine, just run this application. See, because I have given it right, so by default, I have been assigned with this bool is valid with true. So, automatically, what will happen when we while checking this condition? So, if it is condition is true, then the workflow which navigate to the, the valid scenario. If just give the false here. And check it and try to run it again. So let us see the workflow output is invalid. So any doubts here? Okay, so we're good to go. And let us discuss with uh, one more variable integer. So we here we used to call it as number variables. So number variables also so known as integer. 
here I have a type of mistake. So we also call it as an integer where we can store numeric type of information. So this can be used to perform equations or comparisons when working with your process. So let us see a small demo on this. So let us create let's create a sequence int demo. Okay. Okay, let's do a small demo with integer. How to declare is integer? Let's do addition of two numbers, okay, with the in the UiPath Studio, how it is going to be. So if we want to perform addition of two numbers, so we need three variables. The first variable is used to read the value of the first in number one. So this is integer. So default one, I am not assigning. I'm just going to create one more variable for storing second variable of type integer and I'm just going to create int result so addition of the sum of two numbers I want to store it into one more variable called result of type integer done okay so my declaration part is I mean my variable declaration is part done now I want to assign the value to the variable so we need activity call assign activity here so what is the number in number i just assign it 10 and i'm just going to pull out one more as an activity int number two i'm declaring value assigning value to that now let's do the sum of if we want to do sum also we need assign activity assign activity which is used to doing all the calculation for assigning or calculations so we can use it so in result here i'm going to sum of in number one plus in number two I'm done so i'm going to display the sum of two numbers in the right line so i'm just prefix with some value the sum of plus so i'm displaying so int result so we're just throwing error so what is that so yesterday I told you to so make sure that right line will accept only only string type information. So what you will do just go to properties just string. Anybody has any question? Somebody is trying to talk, right? Right. Fine. No, no. Right. So I'm just going to run this application and let us see the output of this. So there we go. The sum of two numbers is 30. So if I want to read the information from the user, so what is the activity? If I want to read the values from the user, okay, so we have input dialog activity, okay, so here, addition, enter number one.
so so whatever i'm reading from the right this one so make sure that we have an output variable so whatever the result content that i want to store it into one variable so what is that int number one so same thing just just disable this activity i'm just going to put one more so input dialog title is uh, addition the label is enter second value so the resultant content whatever you're reading from the user make sure that i want to store it into somewhere for that we require a variable the variable is integer number two and just disable this activity now save this i'm trying to run so enter number one i'm sorry spelling mistake just click it and i'm number two so there we go the sum of two numbers from the user yes any road so far no 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 okay so so far we have discussed uh, see we have discussed boolean variable we have this how to create generic variable how to create integer and how to create string variables so these are all the important uh, topic when we're discussing about variable data types so tomorrow we will discuss data table and date time variable so shall we meet or no tomorrow 9 30 okay morning yeah 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 okay. any doubts so far please uh, no i'll give five five minutes time for you so do you have any doubts let's discuss over there uh, like can you tell me how to install ui path yes like we have created we have created a vmware and we have installed windows 7 also okay can you please share your screen so that i can tell you how to install that like, like make me presenter so that you can access my screen okay you are manoj right yes Yes, I have given you. Please share your screen. Are you able to see my screen? Yep. So, can you take my give me mouse access so that you can access? Ashok, you with me? Ashok. Yeah, hey, Ashok. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So, no? you able to follow me, right, Ashok? You have any questions? I have followed. Ah, no, no, no. Okay, good. Anybody has any questions? Really? Yeah. Oh, no, it was struck like. Uh, it was struck <laughs> my laptop. Okay, okay. Let it be low. No issues. 
it is not my mouse is unable to move. you you press uh, no control all same again we're stuck okay let it be no issue so you just uh, press uh, control alt so that you can see the mouse pointer yeah i think okay. it was like going to take some time wait for two uh, two seconds yeah now it is loaded yeah yeah Did you download it? No, no. You don't know. No, no. It will be downloaded. So, can I click on start trial version? Yeah, it's better. No, don't. Don't download it. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I will do it. I have forgotten password. <laughs> okay. 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 Tomorrow I will download and I will ready by tomorrow nine thirty. Okay? So that is that is better. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, I don't right. want to waste other one other. Thing. Okay. Fine. Yes. Sir. So uh, and last okay. question. Any have any? Do you have any questions or else we can uh, wind up our session today? Uh, I have a small query. Welcome. Oh. Please tell me your name. Uh, myself, Jerome. Hey, Jerome. Hey, tell me, yeah. 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 Uh, instead of inline, uh, we can use the message box, no, for displaying our output. Yes. Yes. We can use message box. We can use log message. 
See, when I'm trying to display, so three what is a different? Uh, OK, OK, fine. I'll, I'm just going to show you that example. Okay, so coming to the same program I and mean, same example, instead, instead of this one, okay, let it be a uh, right line as well. I'm going to pull box, so message box. I'm okay. just, I'm just drag and drop here. So, same thing. Sum of two numbers plus int result dot to string to make sure that we have to convert it to string which is allow message box also will allow so only string so okay i run this here i'm just which is asking the first number second number okay. and see this is how message box will work so message box will just yes. push it to the user okay so when i was using okay. right or log message so which is going to display in the output panel okay so when i will use a box i am just stopping the process see next consecutive stopping i'm i'm just stopping here see still my ua path robot is running but i'm strong i'm just holding i'm just i'm just put on hold a robot until okay. the user intervention is required and i click okay my robo is executed my process see here this is the data okay. the message which is coming from right line and whatever you display message box that we cannot display here because that is going to push it to the user it is like okay. a pop up you got it yeah i got fine anybody has any questions I hope so. No one has a no question. No one has, no one has any questions. Okay, so we'll we'll uh, connect tomorrow morning at sharply 9:30. So we'll discuss. Um, so tomorrow is very very important topic. So we'll we have to discuss data table and date time. Then we'll push on arguments. So very very important topic. This is arguments. So that uh, and we'll I'll try to finish imports as well tomorrow. Okay. So until then, okay. bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, thank you. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Tomorrow morning, 9.30. Yeah, tomorrow morning, 9.30. Yeah, okay. Thank you. And uh, other three persons, right? Thank you, buddy. Hey, Rajesh. Yes, Manol. Raj Rajesh and team. Hello? Anandra now. Hello? Hey, Jairam. Yeah, Mohan, I'm, I'm able to hear you. Who is that? Manoj, right? Manoj, Manoj. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Just, because they, are, they will not, the other three persons, they will need to connect at night time only. So I just want confirmation from them. Rajesh? Mm -hmm. Jerome. Okay, fine. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay.